this is the the, the quiet part of our time. <laughs> um, I'm glad it also says, be still and know that I'm God. <laughs> I'll sit in on that one. <laughs> well, um, I have very loving members, memories of my last wonderful time with you. I took them back with me on my tours in different places and I spoke many times of the, the uh, flow of blessing I sense as here this morning, this evening. And thank you for letting me be with you again. Now we can each of us only uh, share what um, uh, in what ways uh, God has become the real self he is to us. That's all. Because I understand that the whole universe is one person in action. One person in, in, in love saving action. Uh, and the whole meaning of us is to be in that relationship by which he's doing some of that fulfilling some of that saving action by us. By which he, by which he is himself again. Uh, um, by us. Now that meant for me, I have to stop back there, it's in the other way, um, that uh, uh, I had first to uh, be brought into the condition in which I permanently not myself. I'm Jesus Christ in the human form. Big thing to say. That we humans are God in human form, that's a big thing to say. See, I, I couldn't act as God unless I know uh, it is God acting by me, could I? I have to know it's God acting by me, if I'm acting as God. You see, that's exactly what we to do. When Jesus uh, the famous incident uh, said to a fig tree in passing, don't have no more fruit on you again. He likes fig trees like everybody else, but he had a lesson to teach by this one. So he withered it up in Mark 11. And when they came next day, Peter said, look, the trees uh, withered up. What Jesus said, you do the same. How? Huh? I'm to do the same as the Son of God did. He said, you operate the faith of God. The expression in my King James is, have the faith of God. No, it's operating uh, as God functions, uh, b b uh, fulfills his believing uh, uh, manifestations. You fulfill. You act as God. Strong, isn't it? They went straight on and said, uh, just as he said to the king, he said, if you've got a mountain, you say to that mountain, don't ask God to. You say to the mountain, be there and we'll get the sea. And don't doubt in your heart, you have what you said. So he's saying to it, you, are, you act as God. Strong, isn't it? And he said, whatsoever you desire. They're pretty big. I think he tossed us far too much. That's his show, not mine. <laughs> uh, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, it's incidental. Believe you receive it. Prayer is incidental. Faith is fundamental. When you pray, oh, that's right. believe you receive it. And the actual tense, the original tense says, receive, you received it on the spot. That's how... A brother says how we lived, lived for years. I know that first of all somewhat through my friend Reese Howells, who was my friend for 20 years. But I had to do it myself. You've got to sit by and see anybody else. And, and God forces you to call me when you've got to do it by yourself. As we did it by ourselves. And here's God, here's God, here's God. He's been coming ever since. Coming ever since. It, I, I refer when I started that to about 1931 before some of you were here. Uh, and they were, it's precisely the same, because the whole meaning is this living person re-expresses himself to people, in people, as people. And they are expressions of deity. Ah, something in there. 
You see, I had to find that out for myself when I'd been through the first precious steps of salvation through grace. They're precious enough. They're the revelation of God's Spirit. When I'd moved through those, and uh, he who becomes a distant figure in a, in a book become the living person to me, of course, as he does when you're saved by grace. Uh, and I made the early first elementary commitment. I never commit myself again. Poor me, he's got me. I wriggle and scream, I can't get out. I've got a book called Once Caught No Escape. <laughs> I wouldn't waste, wouldn't waste the time committing myself. What's more marvelous, he's committed himself to me. What, what, uh, what I gave, he took him and took him good and hearty. <laughs> and doesn't let go again. I don't believe in it in our side. I don't believe in he, it being his today and not tomorrow. I know nothing like that. I only want, I know a total permanency. Because poor me, he's grabbed me. Didn't I grab him? He grabbed me. The secret of the faith is the grabber's grabbed. <laughs> uh, but you've got to know it. You've got to know it. So my commitment was many years ago. And then I began to, oh, God's power came up on me, I began to witness the British Army. I began to witness the souls. I lost that promotion, but I got some heavenly promotion to it anyhow. <laughs> And uh, say in my college days, and God broke through, we started that movement called the Interpositive Fellowship, you spread to the world today. And then I got this call to Mission Field. Well, <laughs> think I had said about that? Why? What could be more wonderful than God say, you go where you've never heard about me? You can't tell? It's the highest thing on earth. Yes. When we were in British Army, we used to say the highest thing would be in the front line for our country. I used to say to the temple, well, the best thing would be on the front line for Jesus. That's where Jesus heard and preached. And that's where he sent me. And that's why I moved in for ten years, you know, in the uh, Ichiori forest, about a thousand miles of forest in the of Africa, with many precious people there. What uh, we talk, we'll talk about as our black gold. We are, uh, well, that's it. Um, that's, why, that's why I had to get these things into focus, into focus. I had not a holy in focus. I had a relationship, but not a replacement. I had a relationship. I hadn't got a union with I'm not I but he. I hadn't got that. I got a relationship. If the fall gave us a relationship, at least Jesus Christ came back to it. Because the fall parted us from God. If there had been no fall, there had been no parting. We would have just have been always expressions of God. So you see, that's how you get that, don't you? That's what the sun for. A son is to remarry to the father. The simple reason is, a universal person is universal. He only can move, he, move, he has move, agencies of moving, otherwise he's universal. You have some form of which he can re-express himself. The simplest example is that. Electricity has been here a long time, long before you know what I knew about it. You don't know where it is, what is it? I don't know. When it found a lamp, oh here I am, I'm light. Then it, oh I'm a lamp, we call a lamp, oh, then he comes to light. But he has to the lamp have a light. Or then a wire and a power or something do these funny things with you. <laughs> so you see, a, a universal power can only operate when it has its means of manifestation, and the sun is the means of which the manifest father has manifested. And that common looking person on earth, Jesus, common carpenter, who knew who he was, who knew who he was. Except those who had, a few had ears to hear and eyes to see, just a few. And a few wonderful things he did. And uh, um, he would act as a total man. As I said, there was never a big egotist of Jesus Christ. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the door, I am the life, I am the good. I, I, I am, I am. Look inside him. And they said, how do you do that? Oh, I know nothing about myself. I'm the nothing. I do what I see the Father do. What's that mean? They thought Father's up there, of course, somewhere. And they say, how do you make those, these strong statements like the Sermon on the Mount? Oh, I did that, I remember myself. And I hear I speak them. You know, hear who? So this terrific person was a nothing person. To be a something, you've got to be a nothing. That's, that's the thing. <laughs> you, pass from, you pass from wrong something to, wrong, no, to, to, from wrong something to nothing to, wrong, to right something. That's a person. And then at the end of his life, when he had to do things outwardly because he wasn't in with yet. He said, I've not come to be out there, I've come to be in here. I've come to come in, in you in the spirit. I said, that's where he talked at the last supper, I'm going to leave them. And then they say, oh, show us the Father. 
Picking his up here, you know, he said, have I been so long time yet I've not seen me, Philip? Me? This is a man. And then he said, this, he has seen me, has seen the father. So the son really questions the father. And then John says, as he is, so are we in this world. Therefore, uh, if we're, we're, we're expressions of deity. Hmm? Uh, and I'm only a real person when I know I'm that person. I'm not a real person because I hear about it, that's a start, or read about it, or believe about it. Believing, believing has a dissolved become knowing. The great letter on union in the Bible is 1 John. In the last chapter, it, uh, believing disappears because I know, I know, I know, I know. That's believing. Because believing dissolves, I know. So you only are what you know you are. And then you are operate as what you are. And here's the purpose of the Son. I didn't find that out because I didn't understand, because the Father separated me. So here was the Father, and here was the Son, and here was the Holy Spirit. He had come to me, so that much I knew. And I thought, that's the Spirit, and, just so, and the, uh, God has used me in power. But still, he was somewhat just a, somewhat a relationship. I wanted a replacement, a replacement. I wanted him, him to replace me. Not be side by side with me, it's not good enough. I didn't want Christ for me, or by me, or with me, or in me. I wanted him as me. Christ is me. Yes, I wanted him. Because that's what he made for. Yes, that's what Jesus wants. You see me, though, you see the Father. I look like, I look like a son. No, I'm the Father. The whole deity is first by me. And then John says, that's what you are. As he is, so are we in this world. I didn't know that. It's too far on for an unsaved person to, to know. It's pretty good far on when you just get saved, aren't you? Because you, you, you've been so far away, it's just a step into a relationship. And I got that far in Africa. He was my Savior. He was my Lord. I had the Spirit and I was operating. I, I delighted, I, like you sang, I delighted to sing my wife over Jesus. And live among the Africans. That was nothing except honor. I hadn't, got in, I hadn't got in focus somewhere. And I saw it in that scripture which said in 1 John, in Galatians 4, 19, said, Paul said to his Galatian converts who had gone some way, they had gone some way, they had the spirit, had the justification, had got there, he said, I travel the birth of Christ is formed in you. Now that caught me. I said, and I'm taking Christ to them. I had to learn language, and of course, I've been fairly primitive, I've been doing all those parts out. But I uh, didn't say, I bring Christ to you, Christ for me, you. And that's what you, uh, they're using a birth illustration. He says, I travel in birth. So Christ is for me, you. Oh, I said, that means in other senses, one who starts like an embryo in you becomes a fully formed person. I said, my, if a fully formed Jesus Christ is in me, it's not much better room for me. Ain't much room for two, there. Oh, I saw something. If a fully formed Christ is in where's me? I don't know. That's exactly where I am when this happens. That's what that means. I didn't know that, you see. Because I've been, I've been duped by the devil through the fall to think of there's something in my, my self-development. The devil's Mr. Self for Self. He's Mr. Self without God. Run your own show and do your own best, which is your worst. That's the, that's the devil. The devil's not some person, but he's highly respectable, but he's Self for Self. There's good way running about. You've been one too. <laughs> all right. He's Self for Self. Self for Self. Out of that come all our sins and fears, fears and that's what he is. So I love my own self. And we, he got, that, got us infected by that to the fall, as if we my own selves. So as I was caught up by that, I thought, oh, I must be a better self. In Africa, I thought, well, yes, to be what I should, I must, I must have some love, so to have a new love relationship with my fellow Africans. I must have more faith, we're talking about that. I must have more power, have more victory, have more, more, more love for my fellow missionaries. And, and, uh, all the usual pressures of the flesh and so on. And that's what God said to be here or God all along. And that's why he said that tremendous word to me, which unless you threw revelation with me, she was God is love. See, I didn't know the whole universe is one person. I do now. The whole universe is one person manifested. I didn't know that. Well, God is love. But God's a the person, isn't he? So love isn't a thing, it's he. But love's everywhere. Atoms love each other, animals love each other, life's full of love, beautiful, misused love, all rightly used. Therefore God's everywhere and everything. 
If God is love, by this form of love, it's some form of God. Oh, he's a dead really bigger person than I understood. And uh, say, straight away I got cut, cut off because I thought I'd have love. You never have love because I've got the lot. He's the most greedy person in the universe. <laughs> I'm glad he is. Now, he doesn't give bits, he gives the whole, that's himself. Not a bad gift. And the same at that time power, I needed power. I thought power was in different things and came out of Jesus Christ. I said, Christ is the power. No, that power is a person. If Christ is the power, Christ is the person. He's the Father manifested in some form. So power is a person. Well, power is everywhere. Power is everywhere. So Christ is everywhere. Everything must be some form of Christ. I hadn't seen that. One person expected much to the form. I didn't know, I didn't know that. That's when you get your in harmony. When, when, uh, you are, when, you are, when you are operating uh, in relation to one and as, as, as that one, you're in harmony. Because you're made for one. The hunger for one. That's the hunger for one. That's what we're talking about. The one, that's the one. Because we come out of we're part of the one, the one, the one. We come back to the one. When you're saved, you've just begun to come home. The one, just begun. And that's what, that's what he said to me. And what you are, you're, all you are is an old tin can. That's all you are. Well, they polite of them, aren't they? He said, uh, uh, you're just a vessel. Didn't you become loving, or you become your power? You become anything. You're a vessel. Only only the words, you're only a tin can, you rattle too much. Stop rattling. Give me a chance. Uh, I learned something. I learned that a human is only a container and nothing else. A human has no nature. And just the devil made us think we have nature. We have no nature. We have the nature of the deity operating by us. That's all we are. And I lifted them all together. The Bible said we're a vessel, a, a vessel a container. The Bible said we're a branch. A branch hasn't got a nature. It's expressly the vine. The Bible says we're a temple. The temple isn't the point. The point is the God in the temple. The temple is just an access to God. The Bible says we're slaves. Slaves are owned by bosses. They just do the stuff of the boss. And Joe Romans, uh, Joe Paul said, Romans, every human being is a slave. It depends on which, which God, the sinner, sinner righteousness. So I began to catch on. And then I began to see the fruit, the Garden of Eden. I began to see, of course, what's happened to eat the fruit goes inside you. So the symbol of the Garden of the Fruits, the Garden of Eden, is what you would take goes inside you. Now the Bible distinctly says, if Adam and Eve had taken the right fruit, they'd got eternal life. They'd turn life into fruit, it's a person. So once you know that fruit symbolized the Lord Jesus Christ, if you took the right fruit, you've got Jesus Christ in him, which has ha happened to all of us, if we know it. It's happened to all of us, the tradition knows it, and I didn't know it then, then fully. It won't operate, you only operate what you know. However, that's it. But if you were taking the right fruit symbolized the Lord Jesus Christ, so taking the wrong fruit symbolized Satan. I never knew it that Satan lived in us before. I didn't know I was run by a false deity. And that's why I was self-centered not, it wasn't me. Because my humanity was just beautiful. The devil only stole me, he didn't, he didn't get made me. I'm beautifully made. Satan messed me up on roof and God's unmessed me, that's all. Then be back again, that's all. I'm beautiful, so are you. Don't you run yourself down, run yourself up. If you run yourself up, you run their neighbor up too for a change. You love yourself, you love your neighbor. If God thinks you think good of you, think good of yourself. And then think good of your brother too. But, uh, um, I didn't know. We're beautiful. I didn't know the human contained, somewhat like today, the com uh, computer and the programmer. You modern folks know more about that than I do. Computers do wonderful things, only if they're programmed. They can't play chess unless they're programmed to play chess. They're going to beat you. They can't do this mathematical equation unless they're programmed to. What they can program they can do. We are containers programmed, and our program is a deity. Which deity? And we saw him as a false deity. We had to, because you've got to learn sense. You've got to learn sense by, by doing the wrong thing and dropping it and then changing the right. The way you learn the profession is, 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 is you learn how not to do it before you learn how to do it. You're not, you're not copied there, she said, I don't use my tools that way, I use them this way. I don't cook that way, I'll cook this way. At least I hope you women know that for a husband's sake, so anyhow. Uh, and uh, uh, you, you, don't, uh, you don't practice medicine that way, practice this way. You've got to discard the wrong, sit on the right. So we're operating the right. Well, like so, we had to go the wrong way. So it's a man's head. We had to be self-centered selves. So but we are not ourselves. We're expecting this for self-centered, this is Satan. Self-loving, self-gratifying, self-seeking self. That's what we, he hid that so he didn't even know it. You see, he, he pretends to be Mr. Self-Sufficient Self. He's only a servant of God, always laugh at the devil. 
God not says, we talked about the devil, God not says him. This is Psalm 2. When men rage with God, it's because he says, 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 I sit in heaven and laugh, have a good old laugh with silly folk. I just use them to manifest my son, that's all. God uses evil to manifest good always. So when you have evil, have a good laugh. I've been laughing at communism for a long time. No fuss about communism. It's shown out Jesus Christ. There's a vast turn back today to Jesus Christ and because of it, we disillusion that other stuff, we see the rottenness of it. And the rottenness is pushed us back to find, to find some reality in living the heart. So communism is a good agent of Jesus Christ. We fuss I don't fuss. And as you suffer the communism, the best people suffer of Jesus. Suffering isn't death, suffering is the way you take it. Oh, to know the poor person in prison is, are you in prison in here? When you're alive here, you love your prison. Haven't you read Charles Colson? And then, and they're born again, he loved being in prison because he found his prison could be where he could bring Jesus. There's no prison outside the soul. It isn't being a, 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 a prison of sorrow to somebody, it's all your prison to yourself. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if instead of being a prisoner to yourself, you're, you're, you're God's free person, you're, you're, you're giving heaven in the prison. You're giving heaven in the prison. So, oh, outside even, only, only, only precious to bring us inside goods, that's all. And so, uh, see, uh, Satan had duped us. And Satan made us see we're people. He, he was just a Mr. Independent, and he affected us to Mr. Independent. We were really only operating his, his, his uh, expressing himself. You get that? Humans never had a human nature. Still less, some silly people teaching humans have two natures. Never had any nature. Humans express a deity nature. Humans exist to express a deity in form, but you can express the wrong deity to start with. So when the Bible says, God said to me, you're a vessel, which vessel of wrath, a vessel of mercy? Oh, I found that true vessel. A vessel of wrath, the one Satan has got, has got coming through wrath, uh, with wrath. A vessel of mercy is Jesus Christ coming through with mercy. I found when, when he said, you're only a branch of a vine, which vine? I am the true vine, you're the false vine. Oh, we've been branched through fruit. A fruit bears the false, false vine, and then a true one. I said, when it, when it says we're temples, the Bible says you can be the temple of the idol, 1 Corinthians 8, or you can be the temple of the living God, 2 Corinthians 6. Which one? Which God's in the temple? Which boss? Are you a boss of sin? Are you, a boss of, are you a, uh, owned by sin or owned by righteousness? Sin is Satan, righteousness is Jesus Christ, of course. Now, you see, it's only when I got understood, I was a, I was a God-possessed person with the wrong God. And what I thought was me wasn't at all, it was he expressing himself for me, by me. And Jesus hitches on the nail, Jesus is pretty good at hitting things on the nail. <laughs> he saw a thing or two. And uh, you get that, I saw that, I saw so that, I saw it in John 8. He was in controversy with, this, this, with the Pharisees who were opposing him. You read, he said, I do the things I see with my father, you do the things you see with your father. They were Jews, what do you mean? We're not born of fornication, God's our father. If God was your father, you'd know me, of course, the, the Son, he said. Jesus said. If God was your father, you'd know the Son. Then you read, John 84, John 8, 44. He said, you, that's us in our position, are of your father the devil, the lust of your father you will do. Well, I always thought I did my own lust. I was duped. All those lusts and hates and fears of his, what mine at all, they were Satan expressing his Satanhood by me. I was just an agent. I didn't know that. Human expresses the deity and the character of the deity. The last of your father you will do. And when I saw that little bit of it, said in 1 John, about, uh, it says that we're loving one another. And we, bother, we, we in Christ, love one another. Then he said, don't be like Cain, that's a serpent. Don't be like Cain, who was that wicked one, as through his brother. I said, why didn't Paul, John say, of oh, that wicked one? Why didn't he say, don't be like Cain, through his brother? Because it wasn't Cain, through his brother. It was a murdering Satan inside Cain, expected his murder through Cain. Through Cain. He was an agent for the murder. Jesus always said he was Satan the murder from the beginning. Yeah. And what's the point of this? If you have discovered in the in revelation that you once were merely an expression of the false deity, you can know it is to be expression of the true deity. It's a swap over. You find salvation only change of God. But the whole point of salvation, it, 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 it makes me give us thrills. We don't live through. We live to be lovers, don't we? Like you were praying, we live to be lovers for the world. God, God, God loves to reproduce to perfect everything. Give himself to things of perfect, which is what it works for. Say, perfect, perfect people. Right? You're perfect when, when you've got a perfect Jesus Christ in you. That's why you're perfect. And we have a perfect Jesus Christ in you, we know you are. So exists to have millions of perfected people because Jesus Christ really lives himself in them. 
and out of them will come, will, will, will come a, a one day a perfected world. God exists for the perfection of others. Now that's, that, that's what it is to be uh, a God person. You, can't, you live for the perfection of other people. You're free to the others who get it. That's what they're talking about today. Not, if on the way we get the thrill, but the thrill they only get the, just the little ice, the ice cream. The meat, the meat is uh, other people getting, other people getting, other people, that's the beginning of your prayer, other people getting. That's it. That's what God shoved me into for years. But you see how remembered it is? The gospel isn't getting a little bit of salvation. It isn't getting a little bit of sanctification. It's changing God's. You have the God of self-loving self, and you will put a good, put a good special on him too, I'll tell you that, because I was too, so I know you. Yeah? Uh, and and uh, uh, now we're uh, we're, we're, we're uh, expression of the of the self giving God and the self loving God. Now that took me it took me a trauma to get through. I don't get that through. Two traumas, if you like, two sufferings. One was the suffering of trying to a sinner. Well, that had to be. I mean, he, we you're safe because we came to the bottom, didn't we? As lost sinners, when we came to the bottom, we see Christ to be patient. That's the precious blood. Now most of us know the precious blood. Very few of us know the crucified risen body. And for a long time I felt the why the, the, the redemption in Christ presented to us in two forms, the cup and the bread. The, the cup of blessing which is the bread, the, the, the blood, the, the broken bread which is the body. Why the bread, why blood and body? I saw it. Because salvation has two purposes. The total salvation is replacing deities uh, by, uh, taken by you. Salvation is getting you saved. It's getting you to be uh, a permanent, natural person, and yet you're an expression of Jesus Christ. You, uh, on, the, on the way, I say, you are the light of the world. The Bible says so. Well, I tell you you ain't light. I tell you you're darkness you don't know. But you're, uh, well, uh, this is a union. You wear the lamp or the light. When I come in here, I don't say tell the lamp, do I? I forget the lamp or the light. You forget the lamp, so we are. We, we are our light. We are our light. We are really. With the lamp, so united that us by the lamp, that I see you forget the lamp by the light. That's us. That's this life. We 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 another deity expressed by us. Say so the deity of darkness, the deity of light, which is the deity of love, of course. Now that's the second part. Now, uh, thank God, uh, we hear the precious blood. The precious blood is the kids' stuff. Precious kids' stuff is your outer sins. Adult stuff is the fellow who produced the sin, which is Satan in you. Kids' stuff is the products of sins. Adult stuff is the producer. Kids' stuff is the effects, the sins. Adult stuff is the effect, cause, the Satan. You're no good unless you've got Satan out. You're no good if you've got your sins away and you've still got Satan in you. You're only good if both sins and Satan are out. And both righteousness and, and the righteous person, Jesus Christ, is in. And you know he's in. And you operate as a perfectly natural person. I think you as he. You operate as a kind of wink. Life's so funny. Uh, 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 when you get a profession, some of you ladies, uh, we say expert cooks, or teachers, or nurses, or engineers, or construction people or something. Now, what's the point? It gets you, doesn't it? You don't do a job from outside. Oh, I know how to do my construction stuff. I know how to cook. I know how to teach. You know how it got you. What's the point? You don't keep saying, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. You just teach. You don't say, I'm a cook, I'm a cook. You cook. You don't just look inside what you are. You be it. When you're Christ, you forget Christ and let yourself. You forget Christ and let yourself. You be yourself with a wink. That ain't me at all. There's Jesus Christ coming through me. That's this life. Perfectly natural. So religion is nothing but people, because that's all there is in the world. The universe is one beautiful, marvelous person that we're worshipping. Marvelous, all things are hidden. He's an endless, beautiful person. And this, and this beautiful person reproducing himself in beautiful person. That's a joke. We're the joke. <laughs> that's a joke. And we're part of the beautiful person that all there is, all the rest is just circumference, disappears, atoms and stuff disappears. We don't disappear, we're immortal. Made like him. Yes, yes. That's all there is. So you see, uh, we, you see, we, 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 we've, we've come home when you're spontaneously yourself. So religion isn't just being yourself, that's what you call it. I don't like the word religion. Christianity. Uh, you see, um, as I say, um, uh, uh, if you if you cook, you just cook. Well, you're not Christian, just Christ, Christian it. That's Christ. You forget Christ and be yourself. That's Christ. Now that has to. I, I say you live naturally. By naturally, though, you know you are. 
Really, technically, what, that's what's called know-how. Like your profession, live what you know is your profession. You live what, what you really know. Now, we didn't even know that we were with the expressing Satan where you were. If you look back at your born again, you know you were. If you look back now, it's didn't hard to even say you were a, a product of self help because that's all you were. Self-loving self, that's all you were. And so you, you can see where, who your father was, <laughs> and the works of the last of the father you were doing. What we have to understand is how, therefore, we've, we've moved right over from being spontaneous expressions of the deity of self holiness to being spontaneous, spontaneous expressions of our Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father. And we are He, living. That's the body of Christ. Now, I talked about the blood. I said that's the beginning, because at the beginning you can't see what goes on inside you. You don't know about this inside you, but you do know your sins through the law. And the precious blood came to say, yes, I've taken those sins, your sins came to hell. They damn you. They curse, judgment. That Jesus Christ hung there, you saw him hang there. That's that precious blood, that proved he died. And the Bible says he went to hell, goes, don't get fussed about body, don't be body mind, don't get all fussed you're sick. Hey, yes, well, anyhow, you don't get well, don't get, uh, get, get, don't get well by saying I'm sick. You get well, I'm, 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 I'm well always in God's presence, not anyhow. If you're firm on God's presence, anyhow, it seeps down here a good deal. Not all, but a good deal does. So don't commiserate people being sick, tell them to praise God then well. Don't go around praying for the sick, pray for the pray that they may be praising God that they're not sick. We're not body, we're spirit, our spirit is never sick. And our body gets a little busy, but, uh, but, but the spirit operates by the spirit, uh, uh, the, the raise up him to the dead quicker, you'll walk the body, if you are in that spirit. You're in that spirit, when you're, you would know, hey, see, I'm, it's all, I'm perfect, and you know, I want coffee in the way, oh, no, 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 I want him. You find the coffee disappears, that's what I find. It doesn't always work so quickly as that, it often does. Anyhow, when it does, it doesn't feel perfect in itself. So the death of Jesus wasn't the physical. The death of Jesus was his spirit went to hell. That's what death is. It's who I am. And this dies, what's that? There's better one coming in there, but it's gone. Uh, but what does matter? Who am I? Am I a spirit on route to prison? Satan. It's hell. Am I a spirit just made me perfect on route to heaven? And Jesus went to hell. So Peter said, Thou wilt not leave, quoting of Jesus, Thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, Thou wilt not let suffer thy holy one see corruption. Up he rose. When he rose, he banged that door shut with a big bang. It was made bolted in the sins. He bolted your spirit if you got Jesus. Hate that. There's no hell there. No sin there. Go on, you know that, don't you? That's the outer sin. But sins aren't the problem. Sin is the problem. Sin is, sin is the spirit of self-centeredness. Sin is the self-centered uh, 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 character which produces sin. Now that's not so clearly known. That's the body of Jesus. Why is that body so precious? Why did Paul say, remember, when that body hung there, you hung there. I want to talk about God. He left that. He talked about the body in took with his father. He said, look there, he said, when that body hung there, you were there. His word was, if one died for all, all died. Why is it important you were that body there? Because your body is where the spirit was. There's one spirit was in you and in me. Our body is where our spirit was. And through the fall, in came this, work, this, through the, this, this false, this false, false father operating. He's in there. Now, it's an amazing statement. I think it's the greatest statement on one form in the whole Bible. It's the last verse of Second Corinthians 5, where it says this, God made his son and he sinned for us. Not sins. Sins are the sins we did, and he died for them and went to hell and closed that door. Sin is that what produces sins. Ooh. Sin is the, is the person of the earth, Satan, the personality of self is out of which all our sins gone. That sin, God, why, where is that person living? In the body, isn't he? That holy body was in God's sight, the body of the whole world, expressing Satan. He was Mr. Satan expressed by the body. That's Jesus Christ. God made him be sin. What's the point? Because if, if, uh, if, if, a, sin, if a sin is created in the body, when the body dies, out goes that sin spirit. So when that body died, out went that spirit for all of us. That's where you change God. That's why it's so important it says you were buried. Because there is a public attestation of no spirit there. We were buried, weren't we? That same body didn't change, you see. We don't change. The body. If that same body came new spirit, his own Holy Spirit. Now, see, that's where we are, we changed over. We were operated by the spirit of the false deity. He's called the spirit of error. Is the expression of the spirit of error. The spirit of working to be in Satan. He operated us, we produced his blood. He is out in the death of the body of Christ. 
And in the, in the lesson body of Christ is the other one is. Now we're operated by God himself. He's operated by us. He's the one in the body. Now that's where you and I have got to have another death. Maybe, please Lord, many of you have. You've had a death. Call it that says you've had a death in a sense. You you fell in fell in office of lost sinner. You died your righteousness, didn't you? you get saved. You you were the death your righteousness. When there's no more death, no more righteousness death, oh thank you, you're my righteousness. Now you have to have a death to misunder to a to a, mis, a, 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 a misunderstood self. A, a misguided self. See, what I mean is we've got the idea that we're something by ourselves. And we can better ourselves somehow and do something ourselves. That's what Satan is. And while you're relying on self definite asserting it's a spirit of Satan got you. Satan is a spirit of self self improving self, that's all he is. I see we've been deluded. The human is nothing. It's a computer. It's operated by the programmer. It's marvelous fact that it isn't classic, but it can only operate when it's operated by the the programmer is the deity. Not ourselves. Now see we've fallen this it's something about the pro the, the computer does it, but it can't, it can't, it can't. And that you see where we're in the struggle and the new birth. Uh, this is where this second death comes. The struggle is, you're born again now, you want to do right now, you love Jesus. We said this wonderful time that you love Jesus. You want to do his will, you want to be like Jesus. You want to see <laughs> You fall on the face a lot, don't you? Knock that down here, another kind of fall on the face. <laughs> you fall on the face because you can't make it work. And there's, there's jealousy and there's lust and hate and there's fear. And in my case, my, my wanting more love and wanting this and wanting that and got it. I was, I, I was an uh, inadequate self. Because, you see, I thought the self to be improved. Self never improved. I didn't understand that. I had a lie from Satan. I could get better. I never get better. That kept me in his hands. When I come in bed, I'm still in the hands of Mr. Self, I self Satan. And he gets me. I can't stop my self I can't fight him. So it's like a hopeless battle. And many Christians, said, you may do better, praise God, here, live, I, I was listening to the young person today, he said, oh, you've always been taught like a dog eating dog. There are two battles in there. There's no battle in this life. I walk in victory, like, I walk in fun and victory. I walk in battle. Jesus Christ did his fighting till he, fighting for me, thank you. I just enjoy his battle, his victory. Oh, there's battle stuff, way out. I mean, battle in the sense of, of, of moving in to, to bring Christ to other people. I don't know about that, I don't know about a battle is this confused idea, well, I'm a new person, but then, well, what about this Satan getting his grab on me? Why, when I try to do good, does this, this, this get me? And here I am battling with my hates and fears and loves and doubts. What's the matter with me? And that's where the second, the second, I call it like a death has become. A death, you know, um, uh, I don't you know, the right word, uh, is mixed up self. Not just the self, self-precious. That's the idea that your self was some sense of self reliant self. That's Satan. You have to, you have to, uh, and what you've got to say is, you're dead. You are dead. And your life is hidden with Christ in God. That's the way. You are dead. Now you've got to say, you don't, the, the whole point is, that's where this faith is talking about. Faith has to, has to say, see through appearance is to reality. As you go on, all life is seeing through appearance is to reality. This is faith by which you do those our mission. Feeding through no, no money to put your money, no people to send people. So that's open land, lost souls to save souls. He's out for years and see that here they are, through, 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 through. Christ manages his through faith. So faith sees through the, the disturbed appearance to reality. Now you did it with your sins. If you're, you're, you're saved person, you didn't look at your sins, you had to stop that way. You didn't get saved looking down there. You said, no, I look at Jesus. And you transferred your sins from your sins to Jesus. And off went your sins. It disappeared in the blood of Jesus. It disappeared in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So see, there's a second area when you've got to say you're dead and you don't feel dead. You say, what about me? I've got my temper, I've got my love, I've got my worries, I've got my dislikes. I'm, I'm a poor thing. How can I say that? You better say what God says. You, until you get something wrong. You better say what God says, just say it because God said it. Here. If you say what God says, uh, then the Holy Spirit will come and say, okay, okay. He won't say, okay, you say it though. No. Now that's a big thing to say. I'm dead, which means you're, you're, you're nothing, nothing, nothing to do with your self-response. You're dead to that. You don't talk about your self-response. Do I do this and should I do that? Why do I intention and so on? I met a grand old fellow yesterday. Great big fat fellow. He was at the meeting and uh, I didn't think he seemed very responsive. That these fellows, fellows, draperies or some weird stuff, I don't know what. 
uh, in a good position anyhow, came up to me. He said, Brother, we've got a little club that read the book um, uh, In His Steps. In His Steps, how you may know, it's a novel. It's following Jesus, but not being Jesus. I said, Brother, you won't get two like that. He said, no, I know we don't get two. We got wrong, we got two. We don't, it doesn't work. For, we, we make resolutions, we can't keep them. He isn't following him. No, then he listened to me. Oh, he said, I'm Jesus. It didn't look like a fat old fellow. He said, I'm Jesus. Look who he is. Sure, I said, ah, that's it. He didn't call him, I'm Jesus. In other words, he said, I'm not just a fat old fellow. He said, I'm busy, see. So I'm busy with my finances and all day. I said, of course, you're meant to be. When you know who you are, when you know Jesus, well, you, Jesus, well, you're off, off, off your finances. Go and do them. Don't try and do them and then say, you're taking steps. I'm going to take it into this. He saw it now. He jumped at it. Gave his hand, took his hand, take about two of my hands in it. Two could give me a great hand. <laughs> See what I mean? See, when you say, I said it years ago, when I saw it, I said it. I'm dead. I normally have nothing more to do with, uh, uh, with Satan and the world and that. Uh, uh, that's out. I'm dead. That dead is dead. That's one side. The other side of the dead, you say, I'm alive. Now be careful. You, yourself, you see, yourself never died. What you died to was the wrong, 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 wrong concept of yourself, wrong idea of yourself to be yourself alive. Or you really died to that stuff. Of course, you came to say that you were self alive, self seeking, self, self enabling, all that sort of thing. That's what you did. That, 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 that stuff, that, that self says the stuff came to say. That's what you did to die. You as a person are precious. So when you say you're dead, then you say, I'm alive. But wait a minute. The moment you say that, you say what Paul did. He didn't stop by saying, he says, I mean, no, I'm not Christ this. I believe, nevertheless I live, yet not I but Christ. He immediately replaced self by Christ. That's the secret. The old life was itself with Satan in it. The new life, itself with Christ, the beautiful self, with Christ in it. And so you immediately say, I live, no, I don't, this Christ is in me. That's replacement. He didn't say, I live and Christ here by side by side of me. He said, I live in his Christ, but he said, I live, yet not I, it means he Christ is taken, doesn't it? The real Paul is Christ, the real you is Christ. You got to say it. You see that there is he to say, when you say it, but saying is the way in which you say it. You're not taking caution by saying you believe it, it's in the word of God, you believe it. I mean that, of course. When you say it, uh, and affirm it, uh, uh, confess the amount of salvation, the Spirit comes back and says, and echoes to you. Uh, think of that? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Not always at once. That's just the point. You come. Because the, whole, the, the Bible principle of faith in 1 John 5 says, He is believing on the Son of God, hath the witness in himself. The witness isn't the believing. You believe means I said it. I said I'm dead, I'm alive, Christ is in me, I said so. The witness is the God says, Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now, that's when you come free. But I wonder what happens. You see, I, I, you, you, you know it if you know it. It's not, I'm going to tell you. Before you know this, you're afraid, if you're, if you're, if you are, love, Christians who love Jesus, you're ashamed of yourself, honey. You're, you're afraid of yourself. You're so, so much failure. Underneath, you're condemned. You feel, well, I say, but there's so much in which there shouldn't be. You've got an area of guilt and, uh, sort of, uh, what about the temptations and so on? You were sort of un inside trying to drag your people, because, uh, like Paul says, oh, wretched man I am. You are the wretched man. You're, you're a happy man, but you've got to be messy, messy, messy to become happy. Paul, Paul was no longer a corrupt man, he was saved. You can be, you're, you can be a saint and a wretched one, you've got to be, in t t t because the only, way to, the only way to happen is through wretchedness. When, the wretched is when, you, when you've got the wrong thing out, you get the right thing in. Then Paul saw it. Oh, he said, didn't I, see? Now my point is this, I can say more. When this is settled in you, uh, who you are, you rise up. Why? It's he lives here. Well, this is his show there. It's a poor show. It's still there. So they're on it. This is his show. It's beautiful. Everything of it. And expressing his beautiful light. But you, got, you see, it's only when you know you've got the light of certain. It isn't, oh, may I have it? No, 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 never again. It's a fixture. You don't doubt your salvation, do you? Don't go say tomorrow, please, I'll say it yesterday. I hope you don't. Please, I'll be saying tomorrow. Praise the Lord, you're saved, aren't you? Well, but praise the Lord, you're not you, but Christ. You say it anyhow, whether you sit, whether you sit or not. And he'd say amen to you a little later on. You say it. 
and then, then, you, then you begin to get this, this freedom, it, you get yourself back. It's strange. You see, you've got confidence back now. Because your confidence in the, who, the real you, the real you ain't you at all, he in you. See, your confidence now, I'm not I, I'm he in me. I laugh at some of oh, I think he has a poor taste as I look around, I think of him. But that's not him. <laughs> I think God's quite a funny fellow. <laughs> Taking people like you and me. <laughs> well, he does anyhow. <laughs> Now you take yourself back. Oh, I'm not this person. Now you, you feel begin to get confident and don't be afraid of making your choices. Don't doubt your motives. Doubt you mean this yourself, that self dead. You say that self is dead. Don't doubt my motives or my desires. Choose, choose what you want. Have to say something. Choose what you want. Uh, uh, it says God works in you to will and do. Well, then you will and do. He's not afraid he's willing to do it, of course, so you're willing to do it, of course, you will and do what he, uh, that is a good pleasure. So you begin a whole new life of both confidence with a laugh. And when the people like that, they ask, ask you, take, take me, somebody else in me. That's what Jesus said, when he laughed, yes, and me. I don't know a thing. There's my father in me. He kept that private till he laughed, and he said so. Because if they're too open, you get, some, you get bangs anyhow, you get a few more if they're too open. Eh? Uh, that's it. No, you live like that. And temptation becomes, temptation becomes opportunity. You see, when I hadn't got Christ in me, I thought my temptation made me dirty somewhere. I had a lust I shouldn't have. I had a hate. I had a, a hurt. No, no, no. You're precious. Uh, temptation is something outside draws you. They may say to be drawn away by desires. We all got desires. All kinds. Beautiful desires. Now we're drawn in the wrong direction. The worst is that we're drawn to hate. We're drawn to lust, we're drawn to fear, we're drawn to courage, we drawn, that dawn comes outside. And when you understand, you don't kick around for temptation, when you say, temptation, don't fight it. Say, well, I will fight it, I just don't like that person. Don't say you did, don't you? I don't like that person. You say, well, that's not, that's not really me, that's just my other self, that's my flesh. My real self is Christ in me, and he is love. So you say, all right, Lord, with your love, I'm loving a person I can't stand, I don't know how you can stand them either. <laughs> no, love. You, and you see, you are the love. Because what you've got to know, when you know, you haven't got to find him. He found you. When he's in you, you're you. So when the fear comes, it's the fear. Temptation means that we're, very, we're beautiful humans. We're meant to be in a world which, pulls, which, which lives for self. We are like the child in the world in a dark place. So that self gets at you. Of course, you can be afraid about this, or proud about that, or hurt about that, or have a desire about that. That, that pulls you. And what it does, it makes you forget for a moment to cost in you. Well, for instance, Christ isn't afraid, is he? But you are. You forget your Christ, you say, oh, I'm afraid of that. Now, don't, don't contend yourself. Don't say you don't fear. Say, of course I'm human, I fear. Accept it. When you accept it, it pulls the teeth. It can't budge you, because you accept it. And then, when you accept your freedom, where they made Christ, that's not me. That's just the fact of myself. You're my Christ. With your Christ, I'll do it. And your very fear is giving a chance to Christ an opportunity to prove his courage. So pray for more temptations. Give Christ the more opportunities to get through you. The more you hate, the more his love comes through. The more you buy, the more his feet come through. The more your weakness, the more his faith comes through. So you welcome your temptations. Don't run away from them. You have a new person of temptation, a part of the way in which God re-manifests himself through our weaknesses, which are not, temptations are not sins. How do I know? Jesus was tempted in every place, and Jesus didn't sin. So temptations are, are, are negative, uh, negative pulls which give you a chance for positive replacement. That's right. That's all. And so you see, they're part of the assets of Christ, not liabilities. Temptation is not, do not take condemnation. Do not take it. Don't apologize for temptation. Have a laugh. Say, I've got two minutes of time. I mean, you all do it on me here, but I have to travel a good deal on my journey by air. By, by air. And my, my hosts are very kind to me. But they're so kind, they leave, they leave me about ten minutes to get to the airport. And I need half an hour. So, oh, I get tension. Now, God isn't tense. I am. I, as I sit in the car, I've got ten minutes of tension. I say, you silly fellow, isn't God managing that plane? You say, God say, say, you silly fellow, why don't you leave it to me? I don't sit, I have a laugh. I say, sorry, it took me ten minutes, that's all. I think God enjoys our tests. You enjoy them too. One thing, it would have been silly if I said, I won't do it or something. Ten tests, ten tests, give you a chance to pause Christ's release. If, live up and up, not down and down. Sin is the occasional time that if you really do it. Sin, you mean do it. We don't often mean to do it. When you do it, don't sin. Then get up and say, praise God, that's giving me a chance to see the precious blood. Get up and say, this thing's not there, the precious blood's there. And, and don't you then say, oh, I'm the kind of person to do that again in, 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 in what should I do? You tell God, I'll do it again ten minutes that you keep me. You get on keeping me now. Put the heat back on him. Now that's where you move on having that time, of course, now. But that's where you move on to the place we talk about today. 
the, when you've begun to prove to yourself that um, faith means replacement in you, that your sins were replaced by Christ's righteousness, and your, your, your inner self, uh, in, inside your inner self, the wrong deity, yourself, always all right, it was just misused. You were, you were cheated in thinking you had some self, self for love, so that was a deceit. It was really Satan p- producing self stuff through you. When you say, that self of mine which had Satan and the God of self uh, now has, has Christ in me, then you, fool, you find he comes, you fool, you find faith is substance. Faith is substance. Then you move that into other situation. There's a big stretch for me when I found darkness is the agency for light. God means darkness and he may shine like truth. You couldn't get a door without your darkness. Thank God for your darkness. We said, now my head, you can shake your head in my darkness. This world's full of it, and that when I can catch it, that God meant this world is freedom to have its effect. God isn't a social darkness, he must have misused freedom. But he means this world, let him learn the lessons, to have our effect. So we have our difficulties, home difficulties, financial problems, uh, all kinds of people we yearn over. All kinds of things, always hitting us, aren't they, problems. Oh, and you without going to the media and finding a few more. <laughs> you find it there. Now, when I get the habit, I, I'm a human, I never like it. I always start negative. Uh, see, we talk about unbelief. Unbelief is negative believing. It's believing wrong with art. I'm, I'm, I'm believing as evil. What you believe holds you and you, you contribute to it. Why well, I believe it is evil, you know, it holds you it, it, and you always look to contribute to it. Now, I always start that way. I just go, wait a minute. Oh, I don't like that. Wait a minute, God, I don't like it. Wait a minute. You, you're, you made everything to be. You are just, it came out of the fall, but you made everything that happened. You made it. You know, everything is God perfectly meant it. You meant this. Why? Because you put that here because you're going to produce a new revelation of your glory in that situation. And you're going to do it by me. Now that's how I go down. That, uh, the marvel of God, when he made me his, his agency, more than agency, he made me his expression, he sent me a blank check. He says, now I'll offer it to you, you fill in exactly what you want in education. Let's fill up then check for the next thing. I've been doing it for years. And you see, so it changed your whole prayer life. I can't have time to go into a great deal that day, so we see, instead of praying about a thing, I weigh it up. So this is what we found, you were talking about, when I had taken on our mission 30 years ago, it was very weak. So weak. We had 35 missions that, it was a year of the depression. 35 missions called that we had $5,000 for 35 missions the whole year. Didn't go very far. I've divided it all I had. We were at bottom. Uh, we, we were finished. But I had to have my own as we told. Uh, prayer isn't what, what I want happening. It's what God's after. The whole universe is God's infinite love pressure to good and evil. He's pressing himself through to every circumstance. It's God in action. And it isn't God asleep and we're awake. It's, it's God awake and stirring us out of our sleep. How? He served us up by con- uh, confronting us with disturbed conditions. Now see, when we saw that, uh, when we sat there, I won't give detail now, we saw our, our commission, which had been to go anywhere in the world with God, so was we, uh, this a tiny group, and uh, what were we to do? Well, we said, we know what God says to us, we to go anywhere in the world, we'd better go and do it. How do you do it? By faith. And that's how we first learned our faith. And how we learned about putting the, the amount in the check. Because uh, we are very weak, and um, we said, what does faith mean? Don't I talk, talk to you. What's faith mean? And we followed up the story of Joshua, because Moses had been like our founder, had died. We were like Joshua following him. And we saw in that first chapter in the book of Joshua, um, it says that uh, God had a, a, an interview with him. He said, now, now you, you cross the Jordan, Joshua. You take him to the land, and I'm with you, and the, the, you meditate in the word, and so on. That's theory. We are in practice. We found that first, first nine, uh, there's a paragraph mark, which means the interview between God and Joshua ceased. Then it says this, the, uh, Joshua called together the officers of his army, big army in those days, said, prepare you food, for in three days you'll cross this Jordan. Oh, he said, we said, on what authority did Joshua say three days? God hadn't said, we saw it. We saw, God gives us a blank check, we put the amount in it. I'm afraid, I see you're going something to stopping. But, uh, uh, <laughs> you're learning a great trick you can get this. We've been there ever since. You put the amount that, that, that suits you. Joshua put in three days, and cost the Jordan is here. We've been putting lots of things in. Well, we've been mounting, as you heard, from three or five weeks, as you can, next year 15, next year 21, next year 15, next year 75, money, houses. Uh, we don't care about that. We start people with Christ. We're here to see Christ with us. You study used to say in Africa. We're out here to see Jesus Christ running about inside black bodies. He surely is, and white ones too. 
And we're seeing it today, praise God, we're seeing it. Precious people in the Indians, precious Indonesians, precious Chinese, precious uh, Africans, and uh, Europeans, Germans, even French, and they're tough ones. Uh, some, some, uh, Jesus Christ walking about in them. Precious even some English, and they're tough ones too. Uh, now, that's what we live for. See, Christ really living his life in people. That's what all the rest is, is periphery. But we get the periphery as we need it. We get through for the money and so on as we need. I see God moving in. So that's it. So, I may say to you, life is real fun when you see this. Prayer at one time used to be rather bored, the boredom or a burden. It's not that it's not the boredom or burden, it's fun to me now. Why? Because prayer is strategy to me. Prayer is I sit back, maybe in the bed, wherever I am, I think, what about that person? Well, the fact is, that person isn't saved. And uh, I'm talking about somebody who confronts me. I'm talking about anybody, somebody who confronts me. I say, well, then God, you put it there. I know what you're after. I'm here with saying, God, you've got that fellow saved and he's finished. And I say so, that's all I don't speak to him. I speak the word of faith. The word of faith is saying what, you're, uh, uh, what, what, what you see God doing. On earth, you speak the word of faith and do it. Uh, I'll take a book, I'll take it. I, I'll take his faith, I'll take it. My hands are taken. In this case, the take of the Holy Spirit. I'm up, up pressing it on the left of the Holy Spirit, and I'm saying, uh, and now, uh, God, you're, you are now produ you're producing that money. You're producing those workers for this new field. You're producing the soul of finding Christ. You're producing... We say so. We say, I've been like, 50 years we've been saying it. Again, again, again. And here, here God comes through, comes through. Now, it, I tell you, it's eventually, your, your whole life will change. You'll be continually adventuring. You'll be seeing things and people which are your personal. And you say, I don't like that. No, you're not meant to like it. You're meant to wake you up. <laughs> not meant to like it. I don't like that. Now, God, you meant that because you're a person who reverses like dislikes and put them into life. You reverse them. By me. Now, you say, I'm not going to pray. I, I stopped praying long ago. It's a waste of time for me. I prefer to believe. Must not. I, I used to pray long and sleep less. Now I believe quickly and sleep more. <laughs> well, the Bible says, say. The Bible doesn't even say pray. It says, say out the mountain. Then you go for a prayer. That's all I do. Now, do you know what I mean? I settle up for myself, for myself, as a free person, what I like to have in that situation. I weigh it up, I don't do it foolishly. Sometimes it may take it to time. If it's with other people, we talk about it together, we do it in the team. And that takes longer, of course. Then when that moment comes, maybe quick, we say, God, I've settled that matter, uh, that cash is there, I'm going to see it come. I do it many times, because we don't ever appeal for funds, it comes from God. That cash is there, it's done dozens and dozens and dozens of times it is. We, we, we had to do some big building extension in our London headquarters, recently for certain reason, and the firm, of course, the non-Christian firm, was doing a thing, and they said, have you got the money? No, they said, well, we have a good Heavenly Father. Firms don't believe in Heavenly Fathers. They went back to the board of directors, they turned back and said, we'll trust the same Father as you. Uh, Poor said, they've got been paid off. <laughs> of course we have. You see, I'm talking, I, I, I'm talking practical to your life. Put it down into your life. And they had to say that word say about that particular need you have on your heart about a personal thing and you're so put in. But don't you repeat it. The prayer means it's been done because there's no, no future in God, no prison. It's done and now you add to your word of faith a kind of either sense. It's done, it's done. So add to your word of faith, it's done, and that will settle into you. And you begin to say it's done, it's done, it's done. That, that, that's the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the agency of faith. Human faith was the Holy Spirit come through. Precisely the same as at, 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 at the at creation. Creation is perfect faith. Creation was a son operating. How did the son operate? He didn't ask. He observed what the Father needed. All his creation was let there be. Not get there be. What's our prayer is getting. No, letting. letting. Do you understand? God is like air pressing through. All we want is to get the blinds up. And he would have asked the air to come in. Get through the window anyhow. It's the open window. It's, we're pressing through. Don't get it through. And what's the med and trouble is our blindness, which is seeing the negatives and the positives. Now, at the creation, let there be meant that the Son knew the kind of ways which the Father wanted to press through in the meditation. The creation. Let there be. He didn't say yet. Let, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. That's all. That's what you say. You say, let there be, let there be. That's a fact. Thank you. Let that be. That's a fact. That says, that, that thing has happened. Say it. That's all. And you go on repeating this kind of thing, and once you die, you don't go back, you can go back and remind yourself to send it, because you'll ask for it again. And never say, didn't it happen? Because you're saying it did happen, but well, don't give yourself all God the lie. If it happened, it isn't a question of you how it happened, it happened. If it hasn't happened, it still happened. Don't just give in. And you find God comes to that this week's house. Well, I must be stopping. 
But um, that's the way we are operating. We, we operate as, as, as a mission in doing it, as open fields and individuals and so on. But I always have to start at the beginning because it really is. The first practice is that you won't get to until you've seen what I've said, what God said, and you say, I am dead. When you don't feel this like he's being dead. And I am alive. No, I'm not alive. Christ is in me. He's the real me. And you said so because the relation is said so. And as you said so, that has come in his own way and the Spirit has confirmed it. See, many of us have baptism to the beginning. That's the first in indication of power. Power's got to come first. You've got to enlarge your power. If you have baptism spirit, that's the power. But the person's not matter. You can't run life by power unless by the original person doing all kinds of original things as you. So you move on from the baptism of power to the recognition of that power. If this person is the original person in me and he's operating, I'm a free person. If I'm a free person, you ask how he's operating by me and so on and so on. When you've got that faith, you can transfer that faith to outside things. Because you've proved it yourself, you've now proved it in other situations. And you begin to be an operator by faith. So I better stop at that, I think. Thank you.